Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. Second build of Windows 11 for us to look at already. This is build 22000.65 for Windows Insiders on Dev Channel. You'll notice the build number's not changed, the 22000, the dot .65 is where it's been incremented. So we've got new features and lots of changes, but it's not a complete image build. It's a cumulative upgrade, so this was pretty quick to install, about 20 minutes, as opposed to the sort of hour or so you wait for full build video, uh, for, for full builds. So that is um, that is good to see how they're addressing those updates. So what's improved in this build? Well, there's quite a few bits and pieces. The first thing, and most obvious, is we've got the search box there is now in the start menu up here. So that wasn't there before. So if you wanted to find something like Task Manager, you hit search uh, hit, you can hit uh, the windows key and start typing and you see that on there actually in the previous build even though the search box wasn't there if you started typing it would search but anyway that's good to see that's in there the other thing i've not got multiple monitors set up on here at the moment because of the screen capture software but if you have got multiple monitors you can enable this taskbar across multiple monitors which you couldn't do before some other things have changed like the D the system alert dialog boxes now uh, i've got the visual uh, de design of Windows 11, sort of like the box when you're saying your power is running out and things like that. Um, there's some power mode settings in the power and battery uh, page. Let's have a quick check. So there's our power mode option that wasn't there before. Uh, that's good to see. Uh, there's some of the things like PowerShell scripts run without needing to show more options when you right click. Uh, snap layout in portrait modes have been opt optimized for the postures so if you have I won't change this around now because it'll mess up the, the recording but I'm on a surface go and if I've got it in um, in tablet mode uh, or portrait mode as I call it these have been optimized for that mode as well so um, not just the widescreen version but also the portrait mode as well which is good to see it's about time Windows really had some love for sort of that tablet mode and uh, it definitely is better in Windows 11. Uh, right clicking the volume also gives you the troubleshoot options as well which wasn't there before. I should say as well this run on Surface Go absolutely perfectly fine. The original one with 8GB of RAM um, it was a bit slow after I first installed it but this machine hadn't been reset for ages so after recording the build video I did a, a reset, re reset it back, did a like uh, refresh my PC, kept my files and um, all I had to do was install a few bits and pieces and it's flying along now. So there's plenty of fixes in this, there's a fix for the print spooler, uh, print nightmare uh, vulnerability that's included in this build. Um, the show desktop button is there. Like that, they fixed an issue where that wasn't working properly and some um, task view issues and uh, they fixed some portrait into landscape issues with icons. Uh, there's a load of settings been uh, fixed as well, like notable stuttering when closing quick, um, uh, quick settings and focus assist uh, wouldn't work correctly and, um, and some... Uh, Plenty of other issues as well. I'll include a link on the digitallifestyle.com with all those fixes in there. The fix on file explorer issues as well, where pinning and unpinning wasn't working correctly or things were getting blurry with the context menu as well. So uh, that's good to see. And search has been improved. Uh, some fixes on there about for searching for Windows update and things like that. Uh, the text scaling has been fixed and some narrator issues have been fixed uh, with the widgets which I'm starting to get used to, uh, to to using this now I actually quite like this so um, it's a nice little function that widgets on there be nice if you could get it to sort of pop out full screen but I haven't worked out how to do that yet I think they did show that in the build in, in one of the presentation videos so I think that could be on the way uh, they fixed some memory leaks they fixed some alt tabbing issues and some snipping issues as well I noticed that wasn't working I'd use that quite a lot so the snipping sort of three or ten seconds didn't work but uh, they fixed that now as this is a, a new operating system um, I'm not ready for release just yet there's still some known issues um, you might have trouble getting a uh, search and start from the taskbar if you do get the issue you can do the Windows R to get the run dialog box. I haven't seen any issues with the start menu so far uh, entering text. Um, 
there's still some issues with taskbar and some settings that may flash uh, some file explorer and some search issues and some widget issues as well so uh, that's the main changes what we're going to I think get now from Microsoft is lots of little changes coming through over time as Microsoft turn on these features as they're uh, ready for us to test them and maybe we won't even see any of those big builds anymore and we'll just get these cumulative upgrades uh, uh, over time so thanks for watching this video you can find see my full Windows 11 video on our YouTube channel and also I did a video just on running it as a tablet as well so if you're interested in that make sure you check that out and uh, I'll see you on the next video